it's impossible. That's what I'm saying. So I'll teach you. Now, let's go to Quran. Quran is impossible for someone to change it. Muslim children, the age of eight and nine, the more words of Quran, word for word, the letter for letter. And not to okay, have five. I think I know where you're getting at now. Because yeah. the Bible can read it a, a thousand times, and the last time it was read it was in English. Because no, the, the, the point here is the Bible would even have in its pure language. But the Quran's never been read. No, the point here is so also the, the Bible would even have it in its pure language. Jesus was not from Brixton. No, no, no. Jesus was of Palestine. Jesus never spoke French or English. Jesus spoke Aramaic. That language would not have it. So we don't know what Jesus said. In the reality, big time. Big time. You see, that's why you need to put hand. That's why. That's why. Well, I, I, I do believe that the Bible is wrong. But I don't believe that the Bible is wrong. So why is it because you pull up the Because I also believe that nine out of ten religions follow the exact same story, just from a different standpoint. No, so I'm not saying that it's wrong, but I do think that it's no, wrong. No, I'm asking, what is the difference between corrupt and wrong? Because, okay, so corrupt means that it has a, a, a point towards it. Uh, the states. Bible itself is supposed to be that of a positive nature. Say it again, sorry. It's supposed to be that of a positive nature. The problem is the corrupt side of it is, like you said, it has been rewritten a ridiculous amount of times. The last edition of it was in English. Therefore, we have got the Chinese whispers of the last edition. Which is why I think that's the problem. I'm not saying that the original Bible is wrong, but I don't get what it's doing now. Because no. it's too positive. Corrupt it, 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 it contradicts Corrupted, yeah, and, and that's coming from the Almighty. Because that, what, one of the criteria Allah to show mankind that the Quran, from Him, that He will not find no contradiction in the Quran. Because the one that's not contradicting himself is the Almighty. You understand? So if I was to read the Quran, I wouldn't find no contradiction. No, never contradiction. So if I come back that's a challenge. Next week, I'll read, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the Quran. No. no, if I don't want to one in a bag, but there's no problem. No, you know what? That's what Allah charged people. Allah said in the Quran, if this book was from other than Allah, let me ask if, if this book was from other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. Allah challenged mankind to find any contradictions. And that's why one of the miracles of the Quran that now we can we can verify and we can claim, you know, there's a claim in the Quran that the Quran will be preserved. Now if the Jews and the Christians and the Muslims burn their scriptures, the only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. You, let me, you know who can bring it back into written form? No, the Muslim scholars, the Muslim children can do that. As for the Christians and the Jews, they have even memorized one chapter in their scripture. No, one gospel, one chapter. Have you memorized chapter from what? John? John, tell me what John 5 says. John 3 16. Okay, so no, that's just John 3 16. No, I ask you five two. So so you Christian scholars have no more about John 3 16 now. I'm asking you what John 5 says. You know what? Don't. You're asking it. Do you know how many Christians don't you imagine in Oxfam is dead? Like, stop. I've been any Christians here. They have to be more than one page. No, all I'm saying is. We Muslims. That's this part right here. This part right here is what nation of Israel. Who's nation of Israel? Nation of Islam, they've memorized parts of the Quran the and they shout it at people in the uh, Nation of Islam, they're not Muslims. Nation of Islam is like Hebrew is alive. It's a reaction of racism. In Harlem, in Harlem, and in New York, especially in New York, what happened when some black people want to fight back racism, they are utilizing the Bible and some are utilizing the Quran. Nation of Islam are racist. They believe the white man is a devil. That's not the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. But devil can be white, black, Arab, non Arab. It's not about your skin color. That's why in the Quran says, Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaqum. The most righteous person with Allah. Not the black man, not the white man, not the Arab. No, the one who has piety and righteousness. And the Prophet Muhammad said, there's no difference between a black and a non-black, between an Arab and non-Arab, except with piety and righteousness. That's why Prophet Muhammad's uncle is going to the hellfire. And Bilal from Abyssinia, who stayed, is going to go to paradise to show you that Islam go and get the teaching of a nation of Islam those people, you understand? Islam is not about skin colour. I need to read that book. Here. Yeah. No, the reason why, I need to read that book. No, the reason why I say that is because the Bible has a lot about slavery and a lot about culture. No, no, let me tell you about slavery. No, no, let me tell you about slavery. In Islam, let me tell you about slavery. You know what happened before transatlantic slavery? Everyone is enslaving everyone. It's known, you know, Egyptians, Hebrews, you know, no, but Islam comes in, there is slavery already, servitude. I don't like to use the term slavery because automatically people think what? Yeah, 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 so servitude. If Islam comes in, 
and there is a servitude. Islam, the only time when servitude is allowed is Islam in a time of war. But as for going around kidnapping people, Prophet Muhammad said, anyone that goes around kidnapping people and make them as slaves, then Allah will be his opponent on the day of judgment. In another narration, Prophet Muhammad said, anyone that goes around and enslaves black people or white people out of any person, take them as slaves, kidnap them, then his prayer will not be accepted. That's why if the Europeans follow the Islamic teaching, they wouldn't go to Africa to stay black people. But when they utilize the Bible, that's why the first boat that departed from Africa to America was what? In the name of Jesus. The Bible was utilized to enslave the black people. You understand? That's why when they came to Africa, they said, close your eyes and pray, and they took the legs. The French had to do it to us. But anyway, I don't want to give you too much information. That's God of the God. You only believe in one God, you understand? But you need to worship God according to his teaching. And that is in Islam. Look out to yourself, take care, yes? Why are you going for the Jesus is God. 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 J